Graham, I think those celebrations at the end said it all, but can you put into words what that means? Um, massive result for us. Um, off the back of a, another good one Tuesday, so we've, we've uh, turned that little blip round now with six points in, in two games. Um, we're just so impressed with the lads today because we know how difficult the task was coming here. Um, Matlock, seven wins out of seven at, at home. Um, they have a way of playing. They're not nice to play against. They do their jobs well. They're defensively structured and difficult to score against, as we've seen. Um, but yeah, the lads just dug in. I thought, look, we know we should have been maybe two or three ahead at half time. It was, you know, clear cut chances that we missed. But we had to just keep going in the second half, and it wasn't pretty. First half was much better than second half. Lads dug in and, and got the got the goal in the end with a, obviously a set piece off ourselves. Um, but the way they defended set pieces today was magnificent. A couple of blocks um, where they got attempts at the at the end there, magnificent. Just the whole spirit today was brilliant. You must have been so frustrated at half time because that must have been one of the, the best first half performances of the whole season. We were, we were excellent. We were really, really good um, to a man up until that, that final touch. I thought we created three or four unbelievable chances. Um, just didn't manage to get, get ahead. And like you say, on another day we could have been two or three ahead and, and game done. But, um, We've got the goal up and uh, obviously they've gone and changed and gone even more direct um, and posed a lot of questions to our back line particularly um, and I just thought they were brilliant. Towards the end of the way that the body they put on the line towards the end of that game, they, they were putting us under pressure like you said. Oh, yeah. How impressed were you with the way that yeah, they stood Yeah, we've got some big, obviously Hughes up top is a handful and he's a proper, proper footballer at what he does. Um, and they stick the other, the 14 on up top and he he's a handful. They've got the big lads coming up for set pieces, long throws. Everything. So you've got you're defending against probably seven, eight very big lads who are decent in the air, who are aggressive in the air. Um, but again, we just dug in and, and stuck at it and showed real heart today. And Darius got the winner today. Obviously, he, he led the line up, the, up there with Alex Kempster all day. How pleased were you with their performances? Yeah, I think um, they, they, they did really well. They worked their socks off, which is obviously the, the primary thing we ask of them. Um, he caused some problems in the first half, Darius, down the sides. Um, just asked them to do a couple of things in terms of hold up play a little bit slightly different um, and I just thought the two of them were just brilliant hard to play against the two of them are just um, they do the work the socks off for the team they defend from the front um, and, they, and they make it difficult for defenders so delighted with them too. When you come away from home against a team like that top of the league and then you're able to celebrate at the end with the supporters against that's what football is all about? It is absolutely nothing better than an away win um, we obviously we love win games at home but when you come on the road, um, three hours down the um, down the road to, to a place like this, that uh, a very good home team, um, you know, we've had to put a real shift in today to, to get the three points, and we've done that. Let's not forget the players that we're missing as well, in Tumba Masanka, Will Jenkins, Robert Briggs today as well. So you had to adapt a bit a bit more. We again. did, yeah. Thankfully, we've got Tums back um, for next week. Um, obviously, Briggs will miss another another game before his. Um, quarantine period finishes um, so yeah it's not great it's not ideal we had Dylan Morse in the warm-up who was struggling who, who got through it we had Callum Ross who was ill today um, you know just just under the weather feeling drained and he got through it um, so I just kind of pray as enough for how much heart we showed today to get through it as a team how much of a step forward has this week been giving for the team um, it, yeah it's a step forward because we've got six points so we know it's there there's been there's been uh, games this year where we've kind of just set the lads, come on, we need a little bit more determination, um, heart, desire at times. That, that's not been in question the last two games. So, um, yeah, delighted with that. And now we've just got to get back to playing a little bit more football, showing a little bit more composure and quality. And if we can mix the two, um, we're going to be very hard to beat. Had some really big games recently, obviously against the league leaders today, local rivals on Tuesday. We've got the third place team coming up next week as well. So is that yeah. another one that you That's what we want. Manage? We want tough games, we want to test. As we keep saying, Dan, we're a young squad. Throughout the squad is very, very young, average age. Um, they want to play in big games, big competitive games, play against experienced players um, and show how good they are. Um, so yeah, roll on next week.